score, Matt. There we go, look at that. So he's got to strike this perfectly. Whoa! He jammed it, he's got away with murder. Absolute murder, that would have been 10 foot past. Hmm. So he made incredible up and down on 16 yesterday in that one. His, he woke, he, I guarantee his smile will still be on his face when he puts his head on his pillow tonight after that one. Well, I would say yes, he was going for it, but I would say yes, he got away with. <laughs> And he decided not to tap in. Doing the Hawaiian limbo. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great. So it would have like been unbelievable if it had rattled and gone in, wouldn't it? That would have been a, that would have been as, as good as Aoki holding out from 126 yards 20 odd years ago. Anyway, Robert, who's putting, has been a turnaround in the last five months, six months, now has this to stay alive. And that putter has been the big story, Nick, in the turnaround for his game. Just a fresh, just half a ball on the right edge. That will do it. So it looks like Ryan Palmer will be tapping in for his third win. And a heartbreaking effort there for Robert Allenby. It all happens so fast, doesn't it? We've been sitting here wondering how it's going to unfold, and it all happens so quickly. Well done, young man. Just 33 years old. Ryan Palmer with two wins in just over a year's time on the PGA Tour. Dallas Cowboys may have lost it today, but Ryan Palmer is a winner. Ryan. <laughs> incredible, incredible. Your Cowboys went down today, but you were victorious today. Talk about that final shot right there. Uh, another lucky bounce, I guess. I mean, it was going to go by about seven, eight feet, I think, but uh, I still had a good chip. I had a great second shot from the rough over there, and, uh, you know, it caught the pin perfect, and uh, you need things like that to win. Well, I know you did a lot of hard work in the offseason, and you wanted to redeem yourself after last year. Did you ever think this time would come so early? No, I did not. I uh, I came out here with a lot of hopes for the year. I uh, wanted to get off to a good start. And, uh, you know, my, my body felt great all week. I never felt tired, never felt weak. I got to thank Ryan Overturf and Troy Van Beesen back in Dallas for that for that reason. And, uh, you know, it was an unbelievable week, just mentally, just strong mentally. And uh, I stuck with my guns. I took every day, and that's all I wanted to do. And today I came out and played today. Ryan,